are more and more electric cars out on the roads and one reason may be because there are thousands of dollars in incentives to help reduce the cost of them. Why are electric vehicle leases so cheap right now? If you're curious about why EV leases are more affordable than ever, you've come to the right place. Electric vehicles, all the rage, very popular here in the Valley. California has a law requiring electric only car sales by 2035. In this video, we'll dive into what's driving these amazing deals, how leasing works, and what it means for both you and the automakers. Whether you're thinking about getting an EV or just curious about the latest trends, stick around to learn everything you need to know about why EV leases are so affordable right now. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Automakers' challenges in selling EVs. Automakers are finding it tough to sell electric vehicles, EVs, right now. Even though EVs are the future, many people still hesitate to buy them. The main reasons are high upfront costs, concerns about battery life, and the availability of charging stations. This hesitation has led to a buildup of EVs on dealer lots, making it harder for automakers to move their inventory. Well, cars once made in Australia, like Holden and Ford, are being replaced by a wave of Chinese automakers. More than half a dozen have announced plans to sell electric vehicles here. To encourage sales, automakers are offering big discounts and incentives. For example, in May 2024, EV incentives were between 15% to 30% off the sticker price, while the overall industry was only offering 5% to 6% discounts. Despite these efforts, the demand for EVs remains lower than expected. Another challenge is the rapid pace of technological change. As new models with better technology and longer battery life hit the market, older models become less attractive. This makes it harder for automakers to sell their existing stock. Additionally, the uncertainty in predicting the future value of these vehicles complicates matters further. All these factors make selling EVs a challenging task for automakers pushing them to find new ways to get these cars into the hands of consumers. Why leasing EVs is attractive. Leasing EVs has become a popular option for many reasons. One of the biggest advantages is the lower monthly payments compared to buying a car. This makes driving an EV more affordable for a lot of people. Instead of paying a big lump sum up front, you spread the cost over several years, which is easier on the wallet. Another benefit is that leasing allows you to drive a new car every few years. This is great for those who like to have the latest technology and features. EV technology is advancing quickly, and leasing lets you keep up with these changes without being stuck with an outdated model. Leasing also comes with fewer worries about maintenance and repairs. Most leases include a warranty that covers major repairs, so you don't have to worry about unexpected expenses. Plus, since you're driving a newer car, it's less likely to have problems in the first place. For many people, the convenience of leasing is a big draw. You don't have to worry about the car's resale value or go through the hassle of selling it when you're ready for a new one. At the end of the lease, you simply return the car to the dealership. Finally, leasing can be a way to take advantage of government incentives. For instance, the Inflation Reduction Act allowed you to benefit from a $7,500 tax credit on lease EVs, even if they're made outside the U.S., this makes leasing an even more cost-effective option. Impact on the used EV market The boom in EV leasing has had a big impact on the used EV market. With more people choosing to lease rather than buy, a lot of used EVs are starting to flood the market when those leases end. This increase in supply has caused the prices of used EVs to drop significantly. For example, in May 2024, used EV prices fell by 16% compared to the previous year. This is a much steeper drop than the 12% decline seen in used internal combustion engine ICE vehicles. This trend can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's great news for consumers looking to buy a used EV at a lower price. On the other hand, it can hurt the overall market value of EVs. Automakers and dealers are finding it harder to predict the future value of these cars. With so many used EVs becoming available, their residual values, the expected value at the end of a lease term, are getting harder to estimate. Lower residual values can make leasing less attractive for both automakers and consumers in the long run. 
It's a tricky situation that automakers need to navigate carefully to avoid hurting the EV market further. Current EV Incentives and Discounts To make EVs more appealing, automakers are offering some pretty generous incentives and discounts. In May 2024, the incentives on EVs were between 15% and 30% off the sticker price. This is a huge discount compared to the 5% to 6% discounts seen in the overall car industry. These big savings are necessary because the demand for EVs hasn't been as high as many hoped. Take Tesla, for example. They control about 50% of the US EV market and have been offering discounts on their models. While they had lower incentives on their Model 3, Model X, and Model S, they offered a 13% discount on their top-selling Model Y. However, this promotion ended on June 1st. Other automakers are also offering big discounts. Mass-market EVs, which aren't considered luxury cars, have seen discounts of up to 25% off their original price. For instance, the Cadillac Lyric from General Motors had a surprising $18,000 discount, nearly a third off its sticker price. These incentives are putting a lot of pressure on automakers' margins. EVs are already less profitable than traditional gas-powered cars, and these big discounts squeeze those profits even more. But for now, these incentives are seen as a necessary move to boost sales and make EVs more attractive to consumers. In addition to these discounts, leasing has become a key strategy. It's a way for automakers to offer additional savings and benefits without slashing the purchase price too much. This approach helps to keep monthly payments low and makes EVs more accessible to a broader range of consumers. Leasing Statistics and Trends Leasing EVs has become increasingly popular. In May 2024, about 35% of all EV purchases were made through leases, compared to only 23% of overall retail new vehicle sales. This trend is even more pronounced at dealerships, where nearly 70% of EVs sold are leased. This shift towards leasing isn't just a fluke. It's a strategic move by automakers to boost their EV sales. Leasing offers a way to get more cars off the lots and into the hands of consumers, especially when inventories are high and outright sales are slow. Moreover, leasing has proven to be particularly appealing to certain groups of buyers. For example, people who use their cars for business and can write off the lease as a business expense find leasing very attractive. Additionally, leasing is popular in the luxury car segment where customers appreciate the ability to drive a high-end vehicle for a lower monthly cost. Leasing also helps automakers build brand loyalty. When a lease ends, the customer returns to the dealership, providing an opportunity to lease or sell them another car. This keeps customers within the brand and increases the likelihood of repeat business. Different EV models available for lease and their prices. Now let's dive into the EV models you can lease right now in the US and compare their prices. First up, we have the 2024 Hyundai IONIQ 5 SEL. This car is available for just $259 a month over a 33-month lease. You need to put down $3,999 at signing, making the effective monthly cost around $380 with a range of up to 303 miles and fast charging capabilities. It's a solid choice for those needing a reliable and quick to charge EV. Next, check out the 2024 Kia Niro EV Wind. You can lease this one for an incredibly low $199 per month for 36 months. With a $3,999 down payment, the effective monthly cost comes to about $336. It offers around 239 miles of range, making it both economical and practical. Lastly, we have the 2024 Subaru Solterra Premium. This EV is available for $329 a month with a 36-month lease term. The initial payment is just $329, which brings the effective monthly cost to approximately $338. With a range of about 220 miles, it's a great option for those who want a dependable and affordable EV. These deals show how competitive the EV leasing market is right now, with manufacturers offering significant incentives to attract customers. So if you're considering an EV, now might be the perfect time to lease one. Pros and cons for automakers. Leasing electric vehicles. 
EVs has its good and bad sides for car makers. On the bright side, leasing helps clear out cars from dealership lots faster, especially when not many people are buying. It lets more people try out EVs without spending a lot of money up front, which can make more people want to drive them. Plus, customers who lease are more likely to come back to the same brand when their lease is up. But there are some problems too. One big issue is what happens to the used EV market. When lots of leased EVs come back after a few years, there are too many used cars, which makes their prices drop. This can make future leases less appealing and hurt the profits from leasing. Also, giving big discounts to get people to lease puts more pressure on car makers' profits. EVs usually make less money than gas cars, and heavy discounts make this worse. Another challenge is guessing the future value of leased EVs. Technology is changing fast, so it's hard to know how much these cars will be worth in a few years, which makes it tough to make good lease deals. Industry Outlook The future of the EV leasing industry has both good chances and tough challenges. On the upside, leasing will keep helping more people try EVs without high upfront costs, which can lead to more people accepting and buying EVs. But the industry has to deal with some problems too. The big number of returning leased EVs will keep lowering their resale values, making it hard for car makers to offer good lease deals. Also, the cost of getting big discounts can hurt car makers' long-term profits. Car makers need to find a balance between getting people to drive EVs and staying financially healthy. New tech and efficient production will be very important. As the market changes, good planning and the ability to adapt will decide which companies do well in the competitive EV world. So to sum it up, EV leases are incredibly affordable right now due to a combination of automakers' sales strategies and government incentives. While this is great for consumers, it poses financial challenges for the industry. The future will depend on how well automakers can balance these factors to ensure long-term sustainability. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more insights into the world of business and tech. Stay tuned for more updates and keep driving forward.